Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Brad, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising video for a uh, weekly tarot reading March 25th to uh, March 31st 2019 and while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason, the reading uh, is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with every single different Aquarius. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, to give it a predictions or a prediction for the future, for its future, that is a subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for recorded readings and $15 for a private call readings. So that being said, going to the uh, Aquarius this week. Now the first card, which is the topic of Aquarius this week, that is going to be the hangman, followed by the second card, uh, which is the negative approach toward the situation. We do have the two of wands. Then the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, that will be the Nine of Pentacles. So we do have the Hangman here as a topic of your week, guys. Then it is the Two of Wands, which is the negative approach toward the situation. Followed by the Ten of Pentacles, positive approach toward the situation, and Nine of Pentacles, the final outcome of growth, should you follow that guidance of Tarot. And my God, I didn't have such a generic reading for a, a quite a while now. But uh, generic because we can go completely general about it. It's just, well, you will see what I mean. So... Uh, hangman, topic of your week. Well, it does look like that this week is going to be simultaneously a, a test of faith and as well a breakthrough. Now, if you think that your efforts, however, are going to give you such a result, then you are quite mistaken. mistaken. That is because this week is going to be a leap in personal development. So instead of working towards something outworthy, or exterior, you have to work upon yourself. That being said, should you face any kind of exterior problems, either regarding into your career, or either regarding into your uh, relationship, relaxation and detachment, it is the best way how you can deal with them. That is the best possible action, doing no action at all. That is because uh, with the hangman, uh, it has a couple of properties. The first one is that the problems which are marked by that card, uh, they are futile to be uh, to be tried to be kind of like um, overcome. And the second property is that those problems and plights are gonna be resolved on their own accord. The accompanied card with the hangman that is going to be uh, the um, the tower card formation is a passive uh, passive enemies so it looks like that uh, this the whole week here it is uh, even if you may think that it is very difficult week actually you are going to uh, i don't know how to say it in english aquarius is but uh, you are going to get the uh, the least out of its poignancy i mean that week is going to be much more severe for others done for you it seems that you're gonna dodge a bullet that is by just not acting at all trying to make any actions then you go to the tower and the tower is about turmoil it is about havoc and so on and so forth so um just to give you an example here guys your partner it's some somewhat displeased by you regarding your relationship don't try to please them you won't succeed they will be constantly displeased this week so try to just detach yourself just tell them whatever if you want to do something as you wish you know based on your criteria better do it yourself 
it is as simple as that so yeah don't attend into anything that kind of like oppresses you but rather strain more toward exhilarating things like your hobbies and as well you know spending time with friends and family which is actually the third card things that you should do as well that is until you don't reach any kind of equilibrium in between you and your partner into your relationship or into your career as well the whole thing here is is that you should take you should take that week off rather like can or kind of like uh, sign it as a rainy day that is a, an expression into our country when when we say here the day is rainy mean means that we ain't gonna do anything it's just we're going to relax watch tv play video games or just do things that we like so uh the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that will be the two of wands and what we said trying to sort the things out there is no there is no reason for you to do so the two of wands falling into a negative position it does point that you cannot expand on anything right now especially uh, on your uh, on your options available that is with the, uh, with this card trying to do so it is just only going to aggravate you and it's going to by the way provoke um, a lot of um, unnecessary confrontations as well because two of ones into a negative position usually represents aggression uh, provoked by the incapability you want to see the results that one wants so you want certain results you do what you can the result doesn't happen and you start becoming aggressive and more aggressive and more aggressive and that will severely impact your relationships with friends with family as well uh, with your wife or a husband that is so it is best to try to stay calm and just observe your surroundings you don't have to do like i said anything to impact your situation the situation is going to sort itself on its own accord uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the six of cups formation is active uh, enemies six of cups kind of like supports my first statement that you should turn more to the hobbies that you do have in these small things in life which are um, making you happy you know for example you may like to spend uh, to spend time with your child well then do it you know don't overwork yourself you like to spend time with that awesome guy or awesome girl that they are very um, very exhilarating you know and they are very uh, interesting and so on and so forth well pick up the, the phone call them and just go out with them and so on and so forth the thing with this with these cards guys is that the more the six of uh, cups represent itself the the little the two of wands impact you and the main card is the two of wands it is where the problem comes from so you strain to the um or strive to the six of uh, cups here meaning that you should seek happiness into the little things in life you know having a beverage with a good friend of yours but attending to a, a movie at the end of the day at the stressful career day and so on and so forth just try to find that real uh, re relaxation into the things you like to do um uh, well that is easier said than done i mean it's kind of obvious you know because i'm saying do what you like and people say well of course i do what i like well that's not true really i mean you when you woke up tomorrow and you don't feel like going at work are you gonna call them and say look guys i am kind of like in a bad spot right now so i don't know i, I want to take the day off are you gonna do it or you will say damn it i gotta go another day at work it's just ah. so think about that guys i mean this week it is best to be passive and to attend only to those things which you like if you can take the week off that will be the best possible solution ever uh, the appropriate uh, actions here with or the third card which is how you should approach the situation first thing with the ten of pentacles is that you need to seek the warmth of your home surround yourself and of, of your home i don't mean your physical home, uh, home but the home of people and of human beings surround yourself with good friends so you can feel the warmth of humanity there as well um, this card asks you not just to surround yourself with good friends 
but as well to surround yourself with people who takes you as an equal. There is no point surrounding yourself with people who thinks that you are less of them and people who thinks that you are better than them because that is just being deceiving yourself of that you are in an equal society. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's very important about the equilibrium so there is no um, dependency in between each other. This card always, always kind of asks you to seek independency and this is what you need to do here in this week as well. The, ask, the card asks you to show forgiveness if, if you can, saying someone betrayed you recently or rather like betrayed your trust and they tried to make it up for it. Well, this card into a positive position asks you to try to forgive them or at least give them a second chance because with the Ten of Pentacles, it seems that that will kind of like yields uh, a good result for you. And finally, with the Ten of Pentacles, it will be good to conserve your wealth in a sense of that do not do uh, unrational uh, investments, either emotional investments or as well um, business investments. Like I said, best thing is to be quiet this week, so no reason to spend a bunch of money upon something that it may work. If you can put the word, the word might and may, it might work, it may work, you know, who knows, then that is something you should not do, okay? So you just do only things which you like and that you have, um, that you know how they're going to uh, unfold. And finally, um, what we do have for you, Aquarius, is that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, being not being frantic, not being aggressive, not trying to alter everything or to establish control upon everything, but just patiently wait for the skies darken to be put into light again. This is what's going to happen here with the Nine of Pentacles. It seems that at the end of the week, things are finally um, adopting a, a, a position of stir. So you're going to stir yourself, you're going to stir your soul, your situation into your career and into your relationship are going to stir as well. A lot of joy and a lot of sensation is going to be experienced there and as well playfulness. Finally, you can catch up your breath and you can you can see that now it really works. You are doing something about it, which is going to place a prerequisite for new conquest, for new achievements, but very, very productive card for career wise. You kind of like need to leap strongly into your career because your actions here are going to breed financial results should these actions can yield, yield a, a financial improvement. And the accompanied card that is going to be the page of uh, the page of wands. <clears throat> the combination here it is a passive neutrals and uh, it's it's with with these with these cards, guys. It seems that you are going to be quite strong on your own, but as well, you can cooperate. It is entirely up to your personal preference. The thing when you cooperate is, however, is people need to be on your page. We're not talking about here about a uh, mutual or a same page. I mean your page. So you have to be the leader of the uh, enterprise. That being said, either for re relationship or for career, if you are going to cooperate with someone, it has to be something upon something that you want, that it is your goal, that it is your achievement as well, because this is the way how you're going to be successful from now on. So just to summarize all that Aquarius is, uh, this week you just kind of like lay low and uh, take, a re uh, take, take a rest, you know, take a week off. Don't do anything, guys, if you can, that is, or just do the bare minimum of your responsibilities. Do not take any initiative. It's, at least according to these cards, it's not going to breed any results. It's just going to frustrate you and going to make you more aggressive. And in any chance you can, just surround yourself with faithful people that can you can, through them, you can kind of like experience the warmth of humanity. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading Aquarius for a March 25th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you, as a general reading, this reading is going to resonate in a 
different way and level with every single different queries. But if you want more personal touch, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Taro, that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for recorded reading and $15 for private call one. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.